Hillbilly DVD reviews here with you. This is the GOAT. This is just a real bullshit fuck around video. But I figured, hey, why not? I got a shipment in the mail today from Warner Brothers, aka the DVD, the blue website. If you don't know what this website is, basically you place an order for Blu rays. They're all like five to eight dollars. All the ones I got were five dollars. And basically you send them for like every Blu ray you want to buy, you send them like old shitty DVD. So what I did was like a few months back I went on eBay and bought like a just a crate of like shitty <laughs> fucking horrible DVDs for like six, seven bucks. So I sent them to send them instead of my fucking real DVDs. So basically, yeah, I got fucking all these DVDs for five dollars and change. Free shipping if you fucking order more than thirty-five dollars worth. So it's fucking cool, man. Check it out, DVD to blue.com. It's a good way to stock up like on some not only some cheap shit. But some of it you see in stores all the time, but some of it's fucking kind of hard to find. And like, I'll, sh I'll just share you my, my haul. I didn't do a real big one here, but uh, just thought it'd be interesting to share this with you. Alright, first up the bat, one of the main ones I want to get. Fucking hard to find in any store. Uh, fucking Soylent Green with Charlton Hess. I just saw this movie maybe like four or five months ago for the first time on DVD. Did not know there was a blue out. So I was, fuck, I was like, not only was there a blue, it was fucking five dollars. I'm all about it. Soylent Green, motherfuckers. Watch the movie and find out what it's made out of. Oh yeah, another winner straight up the top. Got fucking Seagal under siege. Now unfortunately, like they changed the movies on uh, DVD to blue. Originally when I got the junk DVDs and wanted to place an order and all that shit, I actually did it because I wanted to get all the Seagal movies that they had on there. They had Under Siege, Under Siege 2, uh, something else, can't forget what it is. But they're fucking all gone. They changed the movies. The only one they had left was Under Siege, so I said, fuck it, I'll take Under Siege for five bucks. And that's really what this program's good for, man. Like, like I would have paid fucking regular retail price for Solar Green. It's a good movie, but you know, you, you want to get your fucking Seagal on the cheap. Come on now. Oh, fucking, speaking of washed up action fuckers, Schwarzenegger Racer, another one. You might see this on some two packs floating around or some bullshit, but I wanted to get the real release with the real case. You know, this is, this, like I said, not a great Arnold classic or whatever, but it's, you know, it's worth having for five bucks, so I was happy to finally pick it up at the cheap price. Oh, another fucking great movie from the 90s that I fucking love. The fucking Long Kiss Goodnight, fucking Gina Davis, the last time she ever looked hot in a movie, fucking Samuel L. Jackson, fucking, you know, after his big Pulp Fiction career boost and all that shit. Just a good fucking movie. I think this is, yeah, written by Shane Black, blah, 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 blah. written by Shane Black, directed by Rennie Harlan. That's a fucking winning team right there, damn it. Oh, I knew my comedy selection of my, you know, was fucking lacking on what I got sitting around the house, so... Had to pick up Harold and Kumar go to White Castle for five dollars. You know there was other movies on the list. Maybe I could have got that were a little bit better. But I said, "Fuck it, man! I ain't got no comedies. I ain't got nothing to fucking watch when you're drunk, you're stoned, or whatever." So Harold and Kumar, the first one, man. I, I don't know, man. Those sequels can suck a dick. First one's good. Oh, now we're getting to the real meat and potatoes. Fucking Stanley Kubrick, The Shining. Fucking Jack Nicholson, man. Might be unfaithful to the source material by fucking Stephen King, but it you know it's still a fucking good movie in its own right. As a Kubrick collector, I wanted to stock up on some Kubrick shit, and you know I could have went to fucking Walmart and paid fucking ten bucks or seven eighty eight or whatever. But why when I could pay five? Fuck Walmart, man. That fuck place is crowded, dirty. Hillbilly's walking right in full view in the aisles and shit. So he's fucking scratching their asses. Fuck that. I'll just sit in my home and wait for Shiny to show up. Fucking. More Stanley Kubrick, Eyes Wide Shut. A lot of people fuck shit on this movie. A lot of people fucking whatever. They just think it's the last movie that Stanley Kubrick made before he died. It wasn't that great. I fucking like this movie, man. It might have took him four years to film and shit. But, you know, I liked it, but I didn't like it. $20 liked it, if you know what I'm saying. $5, nice price. Fuck it. All right, we're coming down towards the end here. Last disc in the... Oh, no, not the last disc. Almost last disc. Another classic. Again, I was ready to buy this motherfucker. Full price or whatever, but why when I could get it for five? George Lucas's THX 1138. This is the director's cut where George Lucas went back with some CGI bullshit like he did with Star Wars, but I think he actually did it better here. Robert Duvall, great space fucking science fiction shit. I know a lot of you motherfuckers who've seen Star Wars 800 times have not seen this. Do not comment on fucking how George Lucas sucks all these fucking donkey dicks if you haven't seen this movie, man. Like, 
You know, I understand fucking you didn't like Jar Jar, you got a little butt hurt, but give the man some credit. Check out all his work. Check out THX1138 and fucking see if, you know, your your opinion changes of the man. And last but not least, had to pick this up. Being a big Jody Hill, foot fist way, fucking eastbound and down fan. Had to complete the collection with Reserve and Report. You know, the only thing that fucking, you know, stopped me from, like, ever picking this up at full price was the fact that it starred Seth Rogen instead of Danny McBride. Would have been a much better movie with Danny McBride, but whatever. Seth Rogen's in it. You know, I'll fucking, you know, what's his name? Pena? What is that fucker's name? Michael Pena? He makes, he picks up the slack, man. And Danny McBride does have a cameo in it, so still technically keeping the Danny McBride collection. And, you know, connection there. So, yeah, observing Report, man. Good fucking comedy. Anna Ferris's big fake tits look really good in this. So, yeah, that's it, man, for the fucking DVD to blue. If you didn't know about it, now you know about it. Fucking get all your releases for cheap. Like, literally, got all these for $50 plus tax, whatever it was. I think it was like $55, something, something like that. But that's a good fucking Blu-ray haul for $55. Bucks. That's, uh, you know, that's even better the Black Friday prices, because Black Friday Walmart will throw a bunch of shit in a bin for 4 or $5, but it's all shitty, it's all Vin Diesel movies. Get some good shit, get some Charlton Heston, get some fucking Stanley Kubrick, get some Jack Nicholson, DVD to Blue. This is not a, it actually, let me say this, this is not a commercial for DVD to Blue. <laughs> like, I, I pay full price, well not, you know, I got the cheap price, whatever, but I had to pay for this shit, man, so don't, don't be on the comments talking about how, like, some of these other channels out there, you know, get free disc and shit, because a couple of you motherfuckers came out me with that shit on the personal comments and shit behind the scenes, and whatever, man. We pay for all our shit, and we give fucking our honest opinion on shit. So DVD's fucking blue!